Hey, it's Don the Auction Professor here. I just wanted to shoot you out a quick one today. Probably the world record highest selling Lego of all times just ended the other day. I thought I would call that out to everybody here as well as I've got some Bolo Lego figures to show you also. So here we go right over to the screen. So here we are. This is the holy grail of Lego figures. There are only five of these figures ever made. This is a 14 karat solid gold C-3PO from Star Wars, and it's sold for $65,000. This is a legit sale, 25 bids on this one as well. There's a $300 standard shipping charge, which I would imagine covers the insurance on this. Insurance on $65,000 is horrendously high if you are not aware of that. So this is just one single figure that sold for this. Many other figures sell for thousands of dollars, but nothing touches this one. This is honestly the highest priced one I have ever seen sold. This even beats any of the promos, prototypes, errors, or anything like that in Legos. We're big into Legos, been into Legos since we've had kids, so I'm a big Lego buff. We've got thousands of Legos. We buy them all the time. They're easy to flip, easy to sell. Let's show you just a few more Legos that are worth some money while we're at it. So there's a lot of rare ones like this one here. Most of the rarest ones are from conventions. This is San Diego Comic-Con, SDCC, and this is from 2013. They only made 200 of these. Most of these, they limited produced on all of these. Lego figured out they can make a fortune selling these limited produced ones. It doesn't cost them much else extra to do these. So for them, it's a huge, huge windfall. As well, if you're not aware, the Lego patent is dead. Anybody can make identical Legos other than the word Lego on the top of them. As long as your Legos don't say Lego on them, you can make the exact designs of Legos if you didn't know that. So they've flooded the market with a lot of these sort of things. This one went for $1,426. Here's another one. Now, this is one from a toy fair from 2012. This one has been graded as well as the card from it. And this one sold, I believe, in the $20,000 range. This was sold as a bin. Buy it now with best offer. Just another perfect example. Many of those you can actually mail in and have them graded as well. There's many different grading companies that do this. You just have to be careful on which ones you use. Some companies are more regarded than others. This one, again, went for almost $20,000. Here's another one. This is from the Castle Lego set. This is a vintage one. The difference on some Legos that makes them worth money is just the printing either on the face or on the outfit that they wear. This one's $1,000. There's a ton of Lego sites that are out there that will tell you the price and which one's rare also. So just take a few moments and look up legoencyclopedia.com or something along that line, and you're going to find dozens of sites that will price and help you distinguish which Lego is which and which one's worth the most money. I look them all up. I've got hundreds of minifigures. We buy the minifigures. That's where all the money is at. Or a complete set with all the pieces there, the box and the booklets. Again, minifigures are the bomb when it comes to Legos. Here's another one. This is a sealed version of the Chrome C-3PO from Star Wars. They only made 10,000 of these. Sealed, they can go anywhere from $400 to 1000 depending on the day of the week, basically. Next one here is a misprint. A lot of these misprints started in the re-release of the newer Star Wars movies. The original Star Wars, I don't think I've ever seen a misprint personally. I have personally ran into misprints from the newer Star Wars. This is just a helmet and it sold for 350 bucks on this one. Now the next one here is one of the hardest ones to get. This is the Boba Fett from the Cloud City set. The one on the left is the one you want, the one on the right is the reproduction, the newer version that Lego reproduced. The one on the left is the one you want, and the reason you want it is because the legs have printed patterns on them. You can see the pockets on his pants, and you can see the pockets and material on his sleeves. That is only available in that set. You can just sell the arms and just sell the legs as well. They will all go. Also, you can see the midsection that's connected to the top of his legs has his belt printed into that as well. We'll show you a few more. These three figures here went for $323. Now here is a graded version of that same one. And again, he has the printed pants. Now I have seen several different versions of this. This one is just the pants it looks like. It does not look like his arms are printed. There may even be four Boba Fetts, but the ones you want are the ones with printed patterns on his sleeves, his pants, and his belt. Again, that's only available in the vintage set. 
This one here graded went for $489. Now here we have another misprint. This is Anakin Skywalker. You can see the difference in them. It was printed on the wrong colored head. That is the biggest difference on this one here. There are other errors also. You will find errors in these newer ones, specifically the Star Wars. I have found errors myself. It is not something super, super hard to find, but you're going to have to dig into Legos and buy a ton of them. Legos always sell. We used to get 15 or 20 bucks a pound for random Legos minus the minifigures. We never sold minifigures in lots unless they just weren't worth anything. Then we would only sell minifigure lots. Now, this one here is from a store opening. Most any of the store openings are worth money. I do believe every store issued special Legos just for the grand opening as well to drum up business and get people in the store. Most of them go for anywhere from, say, $125 to three or $400. Overseas ones can go for even more. Like the Beijing Lego store, I've seen as high as $500 for that one specific Lego. They have to be carded still with the box, though, to sell for those type of prices. Here's another very exclusive one. This is from the San Diego Comic Con as well from 2012. This is the Black Suit Spider-Man. This is one of the better ones to get. This one went for $258. It does help that Spider-Man is still in the news. There's still movies being produced. 13 bids from Canada. Really good one here as well. Most all of the San Diego or any of the Comic Con or Toy Fair ones go for some good money. Most are not marked, so if you just find the figure, you're going to have to dig into them. Don't ever sell Legos without looking up the minifigures. Consider it just like any other action figure. There's some good ones, there's some bad ones, but look them all up. Now, another thing Lego did was any of the conventions they went to, they made Lego figures for employees with their names on it. And most of them come with a business card. So you will find them with the business card in their actual Lego figure as well. This one went for $189. I've seen these go for three and 400 if you get the right employee. But there's hundreds of different employees from what I have seen that have their own custom Lego figure. Now here's an open version of the Chrome C-3PO. And you can see it's actually gold chrome, just like C-3PO was in the movie. The standard one is basically a yellow cartoonish color to it. So out of the package, it went for $200. And the next one here is another misprint. I'm telling you, the misprints are where the money's at in all of the newer Star Wars lines. The helmet is actually printed backwards. Where you see his visor color, the black up there, that should be on the left side because his head is turned sideways. Totally printed wrong. This is one that I have personally found and sold. Not this specific one here, but this is a standard error that I have run into before. I've had other people tell me they have found this specific one also. It's from the gunship version, so these do sell fairly well. Again, they're all marked. They're all ready to go. They're all legit pieces. There are some fake custom versions of Legos out there, too, which you have to watch out for. Custom Legos can sell for two or $300 also, even up to five and $600. Type in custom Lego and minifigure, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm not going to get into fantasy pieces, because as far as I'm concerned, a custom Lego is considered fantasy. I'm not downgrading them at all, because they're still good items to get and, and find. You're just not going to run into them in the wild like you would something like this. The San Diego and the Comic-Con ones you can run into, because people will open them up especially if it's a child who got them at the convention and they'll want to play with them. So let's look at the last one here. And the last one here is the Lego I Love New York Yoda figure from the Lego store exclusive. This was available in Times Square at the Lego shop. A carded version of this I have seen go for almost a thousand bucks before in the past. This one's fairly scarce. The head and the hands are basically the same. It's the shirt part that's worth the most money. You can find some of these, I am telling you. People have opened these, just like this being loose. There's a good chance this person found this in a big bunch of Legos. I always buy big, huge bundles and boxes of Legos. I'll spend decent money on Legos because Legos always sell. You can also sell open, loose Legos on Amazon if you did not know. We sell used open toys on Amazon a lot in the collectibles section. So don't just think these all are on eBay. It's easier to show you the eBay solds, obviously, but Lego sell higher on Amazon. So if you want to increase the sale on something like this, you can add a couple hundred bucks to it and might actually sell it at that price. 
This one's damaged, so it didn't go for as much as many of these do. Average price for non-damaged one of these opened loose just like this is usually like $300. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there you go. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts on Legos. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend. Thank you.